Welcome to Vanuatu, a beautiful one day, cyclonic and even volcanic the next. And now we are facing the threat to COVID-19. With um, 83 islands dotted in the Pacific Ocean, it's not always tapolin and food that's difficult to distribute in times of disasters, but also information to and from affected communities. The CDAC network and Ground Truth Solution, uh, supported by the Australian government, is partnering with the National Disaster Management Office and Care International to tackle some of these challenges. And we are kicking goals. I'm Bronwyn Olul, the uh, National Coordinator of uh, the Communication and Community Engagement Subcluster. And through this project, I've been seconded to NDMO to focus mainly in strengthening a communication and community engagement in Vanuatu's disaster response system. In 2019, we established the communication and community engagement subcluster, which is one of Vanuatu's um, cluster system that assist NDMO in terms of preparedness or to prepare and respond to a disaster. Uh, it's led by NDMO and Vanuatu Red Cross, and it's made up of different partners, including representatives from media, telecommunication, NGOs, churches, councils, government departments, and ministry. So basically, we are a multi-sectoral squad. The CCE subcluster is working in four main areas, integrating communication and community engagement into the existing disaster response system. Coordinating and sharing information, which includes sharing of key messaging to communities and feedback to communities, and also to responders at all level. And training uh, responders at all levels from community, at uh, the community level, area council level, the provincial level, and the national level on communication and community engagement. And developing a feedback mechanism to systematically uh, respond and collect feedback from disaster affected communities, such as community meetings, community surveys, Facebook call centers, it's, it's just all happening. And thanks to Tropical Cyclone Harold, which slammed into Vanuatu in April, uh, we know we are definitely making a lot of progress. It's actually the first time that the CC subcluster uh, was put to the test and Tropical Cyclone Harold was really a challenging one. Um, it was a Category 5 cyclone that hit mostly uh, remote places with limited services and infrastructure. And it came straight after a new government was formed also, uh, while we have a tighter border restriction uh, in place to keep COVID-19 out of our country. The CCE subcluster was active even before uh, Harold's landfall, um, and we've worked closely with the um, NDMO communication team um, to get information out to disaster-affected communities through SMS, social media, um, press releases and others, um, including community leaders, and just get a fair scope of um, the damages um, and the needs to the national responders. We created and translated information on posters and videos and other materials, and we partnered with other disaster responders uh, to put them in the hands of people that were on ground. We ensured um, disaster responders talk through um, relief distribution priorities and plans with community chiefs and church leaders. Um, we've worked also with NDMO to develop a community feedback mechanism, especially for TC Harold response. It's a practical demonstration of the value of the uh, systematic feedback that will continue to build in the months to come. But don't take my word for it. And one problem we need like inflation. Communities are affected areas 
they, they, they are fully aware of uh, what we're doing from the national level in terms of uh, coordination and as well as uh, from the community level. And we can also get clear uh, understanding of the real needs for the affected community. So, yeah, those really help. Thank you, Tomas. Thank you very much for making the communication and community engagement magic happen in Vanuatu.